Hello everyone, welcome to Russell's Movie Reviews, the show where I review stuff from my collection that's mostly pretty good, or you know, maybe one of the best movies of all time, but then you get some movies that, you know, are just straight up garbage, or, you know, one of the worst movies of all time, and should remain in the depths of hell forever. Now, today is a very sad day, because today, we are, this is the uh, last review of the Rambo uh, Marathon. Now, I gotta say that this has been a fun experience for me, you know, especially, um, you know, watching all the Rambo movies again, um, seeing, you know, the first three after not seeing them for a while, not, uh, seeing the fourth film for the first time and seeing, uh, uh, the fifth one once again for my second viewing. This has been a fun experience. Now, um... If you guys may remember from yesterday's review, I did say that Rambo, or John Rambo, is my least favorite out of the whole series. And that still is the case. Um, but I will say that this film I'm about to review today significantly improves on everything that Rambo, or John Rambo, had in its movie by a long shot and that movie is of course Rambo Last Blood which came out on Sep September 20th of 2019 with a budget of 50 million dollars domestically made over 44 million and worldwide it made over 91 million and this was directed by Adrian Grumberg who I haven't really I never heard of his work because he only directed one movie before this and I never really knew that until I started actually doing research about this movie. And, um, you know, I think he'd honestly, this guy can go on and do better things in terms of movies. Because this film, like I said, is a significant step up from Rambo, which was ironically directed by Sylvester Stallone himself. And I think this film is better in every way. And... This is certainly the darkest Rambo movie, which I'll get to later. But there are some scenes in this movie, like, it's... Maybe not the... Well, yeah, I would consider this to be the darkest Rambo movie. With a very close second by, you know, Rambo. Um, and it's mostly just comes down to Rambo himself, but I'll talk about that when I get to that. So, um... So yeah, so let's get on to that plot. So uh, the plot for this movie is Vietnam War veteran John Rambo, played by, I believe, the final time by Sylvester Stallone, tries to find some semblance of peace by raising horses on a ranch in Arizona. It, he's also developed a special family, fam, family, family bond with a woman named M Maria um played by Adriana Barze Barzi I'm really sorry if I butchered that last name and her teenage granddaughter Gabriella uh played by Yvette Monroe but when a vicious Mexican cartel kidnaps Gabriella Rambo crosses the border and on a bloody and personal quest to rescue her and punish those responsible. So even by the sound of it, this is going to be a really kind of dark movie. And it is. Um. But, um. Um. It, this film was very dark. And I'll get to that when I, uh, get on to, you know, the, um. My favorite scenes. Well, actually, when I... Well, soon. So, uh, let's talk about the cast. So, obviously, we have Sylvester Stallone returning for John Rambo for the, I believe, the final time. Because he did say... Um, when I was looking up fun facts about this movie, um, one of them was um, on December 9th, he made it public that this will be his final time playing Rambo. Because, obviously, it's Blast Blood. Uh, but then, sometime after that, he made another. Uh, he made a post saying uh, that he will return 
as Rambo um, if Last Blood made was successful or not. And uh, comparing to the other films, like um, the one I can think of like on the top of my head is Rambo 3. Um, that made, uh, 188 worldwide, and that, you know, obviously led on to, you know, Rambo, or John Rambo, um, but this film only made 91, so it's, I'm not really sure if they're going to, uh, actually make another Rambo movie, um, considering that this was at, this is actually kind of a bomb for the Rambo franchise, um, you know, but honestly, if this is the last Rambo movie, I don't really care because I think this film is a very satisfactory conclusion for the Rambo franchise. But um, anyway, Sylvester Stallone does another fantastic performance in this film as a very, very old Rambo. Like, you can literally tell that there has been a difference since it's literally only been 10 years since since um uh John Rambo and he has aged significantly like in uh John Rambo he still has the brown hair but you can still tell that he is getting a little bit older this film cements the fact that he is a very old man and you know the bad guys in this movie basically just kept they like, keep on rubbing it in his face um But, you know, it's just, it's very, it, it doesn't, like, play it to, like, a, like, hey, what's, like, beat it to the ground kind of thing. It's just, you use it at certain moments, and that's, like, the best effect that's going to have, and that's what this movie does. Um, Um, we have, uh, like I said earlier, we have Andrina, um, uh, Adrian, uh, Barzi, I'm really sorry if I butchered that last name, who plays Maria, who's basically the, um, is Gabriella's, I believe, yeah, yeah, uh, granddaughter, um, And um, well, like Gabriella is the granddaughter of Maria, and uh, she plays a um, she does a very fine performance in the little amount of screen time that she does actually get. Um, but uh. Yeah, I just think that um, she does a very, very fine performance, but um, like the like kind of like with the kid in Rambo Three, like there's like certain characters that you just only need like a few for a few scenes, and then you know that's it. Basically, how like what, what they did with the kid in Rambo Three, I think her in this film is kind of played the the same way. Um. Um, and we have Yvette Monroe as, uh, Gabriella, who is basically the catalyst of the whole movie. Uh, she's the one that kind of, uh, defies, or goes against, Mar uh, Maria's, you know, kind of wishes and goes to Mexico to see her biological father and um um and then she's obviously captured and then um I'll talk about more about that later if you have if you already seen the movie you know where I'm going to be going with this but let's just say that it doesn't end very well for her um we have Paz Vega, uh, Vega, as um, 
as Cameron Delgado, who uh, I believe. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna look that up really quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm back. So, uh, Cameron Delgado, who is the girl who helps Rambo after uh, he is visually, uh, I guess, spoilers, mine's mentioning now. Um, she's the woman that uh, helps uh, Rambo after he's viciously beat up by the Martinez brothers, who uh, is Majete, Hugo Martinez, and Victor Martinez, played by... Sergio, um, Sergio Paris and Oscar Gennetto, um, respectively, and I'm very sorry if I butchered your names, um, and, you know, she takes care of Rambo, uh, while, um, while, um, you know, the villains basically torture Gabriella, and I'm just gonna quickly figure out uh, which one's which. Okay, so yeah, Victor is the one is the f uh, first brother to get killed off. Um, who I believe is the yeah is the older brother. And, uh, to kind of, might as well mention my first favorite scene, uh, well, actually, no, not, not yet. Um, and then, Machete is the, the main, I guess the main bad guy, because he's the one that basically, like, actually takes on Rambo for the, uh, final action scene. Um, and, so, yeah. Um, and Victor has a, well, I mean, both of them have very horrible deaths. Victor, we don't see what actually happens until Machete returns to his house and sees that his bloody corpse, without his head, with a knife stuck in his heart, I believe, with a picture of Gabriella. And then we see Rambo, like, he cuts the Rambo driving in his truck and he throws the head out of his window. Uh, which I guess is my first favorite scene to mention. Um, and then we have Pazisco Lopez. I most likely butchered that name. Um, as El Flaco. Um, yeah, I can't find, well, let me find an image. Okay, I believe, yeah, so El Flaco is basically the man who took Gabriella to the Martinez uh, brothers. Um, and who has a very violent torture sequence when Rambo has him up in knife point, throws him in his car, stabs him which stabs, um, like, hits him in the shoulder so that hit, so that, like, a hole, like, ver like, hard enough so that a, a hole opens up, I believe. Like, that, that punctures it, and he stabs him in the leg, and then he takes his thumb, s pushes it into the hole so that his, his, 
uh, like his shoulder bone pops out and starts breaking it and says like is like dude if you like if you don't tell me where she is i will break it and he's like fine 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 i'll tell it. and it's like well, man rambo is vicious in this movie like he doesn't care about whoever he's interrogating he just wants to get his daughter back um um we have friends friends zera pandia i'm most likely butchering that name as well as gonzel who's basically gabriella's friend i'm saying that in quotes because she basically rats gabriella out to the bad guys um and um she uh she gets also interrogated by rambo who grabs her grabs her arm and notices that the bracelet that gabriella had is not on her arm and that's like like basically saying okay yeah you i was a little bit suspicious before but now you're like it's conclusive that you ratted her out um and then she takes she uh doesn't really drive him but she like kind of lets her lets him know like the last time she saw her or where she uh ratted her out um and then and that's when he also interrogates el flaco and then we finally we have marco de la o as Manuel, uh, Manuel, who is, I believe, the biological father of Gabriella. Um, and she, he's, I mean, yeah, G Gabriella going to Mexico is basically what starts the plot for me. Um, but if she hadn't gone to Manuel. He wouldn't have, like, like said, like, um, you know, I never wanted you. And then, uh, Giselle would have never brought her to the club where she never would have gotten captured and she never would have gotten her horrible fate. Um... Um, so yeah, and so much we'll talk about my favorite scenes in the film. Um, cause, like I said earlier, and the scene I mentioned, this film was dark. Um, but, um, like I mentioned with, uh, Victor's death and the interrogation of El Flacco. Um, Rambo is ruthless in this movie. And there's, um, so I guess that's, those are my... Uh, the interrogation of El Flacco is my first favorite scene. My second favorite scene will probably have to be, unfortunately, and I'm not trying to sound mean by saying this, but I guess it's the brutal beat-up of Rambo by, you know, the whole gang. Um, you know, because it's violent. Like, um, Victor slashes him on the face, and then everyone starts, like, beating the crap out of him and, like, cutting him. And then Hugo... Like, kind of comes up to him, and he goes, um, like, basically says, like, now, since you have come to try and rescue her, she's basically dead now, without actually saying it, um, but, um, yeah, and then that's when Cameron, you know, you know, comes in and helps Rambo and takes him back to her place and then basically brings him back to health. Um, my third favorite scene will probably have to be, um, yeah, I guess the discovery of Victor's basically mutilated corpse, you know, with, you know, the knife in the heart, his head decapitated, and the picture of you know, Gabriella saying, hey, you're next, bitch. And it's just like, ooh! That's, like, that's the Rambo that you don't want to mess with. And then that obviously leads to the final action sequence, which takes place at Rambo's place, which 
is going to be my fourth favorite scene. Uh, I don't want to go into it too much because th this is that's actually a really long sequence, which is, it's like a fifteen minute sequence, including the final confrontation between Rambo and Hugo, which is goddamn brutal. And that's going to be my final favorite scene, and my probably my favorite scene in the whole movie is the final confrontation between Rambo and Hugo, because goddamn, that's so brutal. Um, well, actually, might as well mention it now. Um, so when Rambo comes back after he if, if his first attempt to try and save Gabriella, which leads to him getting beat up, he goes in there, you know, kill, b kills a couple guys with a hammer, s s basically destroys one guy's nuts, which is funny. Um, like he doesn't even kill him. Like he doesn't like hit him in the nuts. He falls over and then like cracks, and, like basically hits him over the head. He just leaves him there. Like yeah. I'm just gonna let you bleed out from your nuts, and then he finds uh, Gabriella in a room, takes her, tries to drive down to his house, and you get basically see the life draining from her until she um, unfortunately passes away. And I honestly think if I mean I think the scene is totally fine as it is in the film, but um. If they kind of gotten if Ram if so if Stallone could have gotten a little bit more emotion from it, I think it would have been a lot better. But that's just me. Um, but um, you know I think you know the emotion on his face when he realizes that she's dead is so powerful that I think. Um, Um, you know, it, it pushes to the point where that you're like, okay, you, you are, you know, you basically now just pissed off Rambo. And when you piss off Rambo, he, if you try and mess with him, he, uh, yeah, he kills all of you. And that's what happens in the final action sequence. Um, I think the death of Gabriella, I think is my... Gonna be my third favorite scene. Well, uh, um, well, like um, uh, the death of Gabriella is another favorite scene, and then my favorite favorite scene of all time in this movie is the final confrontation between Hugo and Rambo, cause Rambo just steps out from the shadow, shoots. Um, Hugo with four arrows that makes him stick to the wall, like the door, and because Rambo in the action, the final action sequence has has been shot, I believe, I know in the shoulder, but also like I think like here ish. Um. But yeah, like he, like he gets like basically lit up, like not to the point where he dies, but like. Yeah, he gets he gets shot a couple times, but he finally corners Hugo, shoots him like like shoulder shoulder leg leg. So he's basically stuck. And my favorite line in the whole movie is when like the music stops, and Rambo just goes, "This is what it feels like." Lifts up the knife, and just stabs Hugo, and like like rips like this, and then rips down. Or like he just like stabs him, rips down, and he just shoves his hand through the chest and rips his heart out. And I'm like, God damn, this movie's brutal. Like this is probably the most brutal Rambo movie of all time. Like this is the darkest that Rambo has ever done. And just think about it, the last Rambo movie before this was John Rambo, and that was pretty brutal. And that's just mostly from the villains. Uh, I think the only um, brutal thing that Rainbow actually does is taking that one guy that's about to rape Sarah and just rips his throat out. I think that's the only actual... I mean, yeah, Rainbow does kill all of them, basically. But I think that's the most brutal he gets throughout the whole movie. This film, he doesn't even care. He goes, you know, breaks the bones off, like, fr like of other... of like breaks bones of people goes over to someone else rips their heart out 
And so, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Rambo goes and sits down in his chair. And I believe, uh, because I did see it on here, um, um, where was it? The film adaptation shot scenes where Rambo died of suicide before Stallone pushed for a different ending, one where he lived, the rest is history, but in the aftermath, Rambo lost his way and got swept back up in the jungle. Um, so yeah, the original ending for this film was supposed to be, I guess... Um, I don't think this Blu-ray has any... Uh, well, I don't think it has deleted scenes. You know, if it doesn't look like it. Um, but apparently the original ending, I believe, was supposed to be, you know, kind of like the same in the film when... After he kills Hugo, he goes out, goes to his chair, and starts rocking in it. But in the alternate ending, or in the original ending, he was supposed to commit suicide. Like, get, like he basically, you know, lost everything he had, all the family he had. So it's like, what's, you know, what's the point of, you know, fighting if, you know, um, if I'm just basically going to lose everything again? And then, so, yeah, and then he... He commits suicide, and that's was that was supposed to be the last of Rambo. But apparently, of course, uh, Stallone changed wanted to change the ending. So uh, now we uh, we don't have an ending that kind of basically concludes the series as a whole. Um, but um. Um, Nautilus General Rambo was killed in the end. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, might as well, uh, mention the fun fact that I, I have about this movie. Is that this movie is 89 minutes. Which makes this ramp which makes Rambo Last Blood to be the shortest Rambo movie of all time. Yeah, this is actually the shortest Rambo movie, because if you, you know, let's go in order throughout all the movies. So we got First Blood, which is 93 minutes. You got Rambo First Blood Part 2, which is 95 minutes. Rambo 3, 102 minutes. And then we got Rambo, or John Rambo. Uh, the theatrical cut is 99 minutes. Oh, no, no, the, the theatrical cut is 91 minutes, or the extended cut is 99 minutes. So this, and then finally, Rambo Last Blood is 89 minutes. So, even if you watch the extended cut of the fourth film, um, like, when you want, like, John, like, Rambo Last Blood is 10 minutes shorter than the previous film that came out before. And, you know, that's showing you that, you know, they, well, one, they really don't need to do anything for these movies anymore, because, you know, like, it, they basically are running out of ideas, but, um, I just think that, you know, that's actually kind of interesting that they've actually, up to Rambo 3, they've been getting longer and longer until, um, uh, Rambo 4, which actually went back down to, uh, 91 minutes, or, like I said earlier, 99 minutes, if you are including the, um, the, uh, uh, extended cut. Um. Sorry about this, uh, I just need to get this sticking back. Um, so yeah. 
Um, and then we have uh, Ryan Tyler returning f to compose the music for Rambo Last Blood. Um, uh, there, I, I did recognize a couple of, of music cues from John Rambo that were reused in this film, uh, especially when, uh, when after Rambo hits Hugo of all, like, the four arrows, um, there was a couple cues in there that, I, that did sound like, um, uh, from, uh, Rambo, uh, or John Rambo, um, but mostly it's original music, um, and like I did say in the John Rambo review, um, I do think that, um, I think John, Ra I think John Rambo had the better score in my opinion out of the two, because at least with John Rambo, they, they did call back to the first film with the, uh, theme, uh, for Rambo, uh, which I believe was, uh, it's called a, it's a long walk, and, um, I think, um, you know, like, I think it worked perfectly for that film, um, but, f uh, for this film, I don't, they don't really use any original pieces from any other Rambo movie, it's all original score, which is kind of weird, especially considering that they're both, like, both Rambo and Rambo Last Blood had the same composer, um, but for me, this film score kind of did sound like a little bit of generic action film scores from, you know, that sound like, like nowadays, um, which is why I prefer, you know, the Rambo score a lot better than this film, um, because at least with that film, yeah, it does still kind of sound like music that was being made around that time but they did include uh you know some original you know from the past films like some music tracks from that not say sorry not saying that this film has a bad score in total i think it works very well for this film but it just sounds way too close like it's trying to be like all the new action movies that are coming out now and I just think that it's kind of a disservice to Rambo you know having a generic score like that um but besides that I think this is a um I think this is actually a significant improve, improvement improvement over the kind of uh lackluster uh well the kind of actually bad uh John Rambo uh which I just felt like it was like a generic action film from that point um but this film did improve it and I think if this is going to be the actual finale to the Rambo franchise I think this is a fantastic way to end it you know cause I honestly think they should have um um, cause I, I do, I did hear that there is an extended cut of Last Blood. I haven't been able to track it down yet. Um, but, um, I really hope that it, um, it does pop up on Blu-ray or 4K at some point. Maybe it is on, actually on the 4K, I'm not sure. Um, but, um, yeah. Because, no, no, because it's kind of weird that, you know, Last Blood just had the theatrical cut, um, but when, you know, um, when John Rambo came out on Blu-ray for the first time, it included both the extended cut and the theatrical, so I just think that's a little bit weird that if there is an extended cut of Rambo Last Blood, why isn't it, I don't think it's, it has been released on Blu-ray yet, um, Yeah, because it says it right there. Um, I don't know if my camera's going to... Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. It says Rambo Last Blood Extended Cut. 
So let me see what this is. Um. Um. But I. Okay, let's see. Um, an hour and forty-four minutes, and I think this film was about. Uh, like an hour and 31. So yeah, there, apparently there is a, um, there is, um, a few minutes of scenes added in the film. But I don't think it would really improve the film. And plus, this film is already so good that I don't really think it needs an extended cut. Um, which is why I'm going to give this film an 8 out of 10, which is the same score I gave both First Blood and Rambo 3. Um... There, I think my ranking has to change is going to change a bit, especially after seeing Rainbow Three. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think this is a great finale to the Rainbow franchise as of now, and I really hope that even if they do make another film, I don't really want them to do it because I think this is a such a satisfactory way to end the franchise. You don't really need to make another Rambo movie, especially with this film being Last Blood. You're like, this is, like, it. Um, but, yeah, I just think this is a fantastic way of concluding the Rambo franchise. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that was my review of Rambo Last Blood. Stay tuned for tomorrow, where I'm actually going to be doing a ranking of all five Rambo movies. Uh, from worst to best. Um, and as I probably made it clear over these, uh, these reviews, it's probably gonna be, uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy to see what ranking it is I'm gonna be doing for most of these, most of these movies. But, um, yeah, so stay tuned for tomorrow where I'm gonna be ranking all of the, all five Rambo movies. And, um, hope you guys, um, enjoy this review and... Follow me at Instagram and Facebook um, to notify, you know, when I make new posts. Maybe, um, you know, send in a request saying, you know, what do you want me to review next for, you know, Russell's movie reviews. And you can click the subscribe button to be a Russell fan. So, hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you know, for channel updates and uh, when new videos come out. Because I usually, you know, make posts on there. And, you know, like I said earlier, um, leave a comment on one of those posts saying, telling me what I should do next for the next movie review. And uh, click that subscribe button, hit that like button. And, uh, unfortunately, with um, uh, YouTube now, you can't uh, ring channels that are made for kids. But, uh... You know, stay tuned up uh, uh, to future reviews. Um, and yeah, guys, hope you guys have a great day. Live long and prosper. Out.